welcome back to the channel and welcome to everybody who is new if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos hi hello my name is marion sims that is what i go by here on youtube and today we are going to be playing my sims 4 eco lifestyle lp now, if this is your first time, you would not know that this is the second episode, even though it is in the title of this video. So, if you have not already, I would advise you to go ahead and watch the first episode of this video. If not, you might be a little bit lost about who this is, who are these two beautiful girls on the screen, and, you know... Who are they? So yeah, if you have not watched my first episode, I would recommend going and watching that. Also, I just want to say thank you guys so, so, so much for all the love and support that I've been getting on the first episode. Thank you, and I am happy that y'all are enjoying this LP so far. So today we came down to um, the community space that is out here, and I think it's let me not mess up the, the place, but I will go back to the um, map in a little bit, and I will show y'all exactly where we are in Evergreen Harbor. Um, And I did tell y'all in the last part that I was going to be making Bonnie Bennett and Sheila. If you did not know, or if you have not watched the first episode, which you should, um, Bonnie Bennett, um, yes, from The Vampire Diaries, is actually our main character, Aspen's cousin, and Grandma Sheila is her grandma. So, we will be seeing them throughout this LP, and today, um, Bonnie wanted to come and see the new, you know, area that... Miss Aspen is living in, so that is why she is here with us today. So I'm going to take them off pause, and I'm going to let y'all see Miss Bonnie in her totality. So Bonnie is here, just chopping it up with her cousin. They are having a nice little conversation. Um, I don't exactly know what they're having a conversation about, but we're going to hug her. And, you know, um, maybe you just ask her about how her day is going. Like, hey, girly, it's been a couple of days since we last saw you. We just moved into our new apartment, and we are here. So thank you all so much for coming out with me. Um, and after that, we might complain about the heat a little bit because it is, ooh, it is scalding in here. Um, wow, it is really, really hot today, so it's sunny. So, I actually am going to get Miss Aspen to change her outfit really quickly because it is hot today. So, she's going to change to her hot wear. And I actually love this um, particular outfit of hers. I think it's so cute, guys. Ugh. Love it. Look, and they're matching now. <laughs> we have to get them to take a picture. So, before we start looking around this beautiful space, oh, and there's somebody voting on something. Who is this? Grayson Mahan. So, we're going to go and invite, not invite, <laughs> introduce ourselves to him. But before that, we're going to take a picture with our cousin. We need some memories for our room. We need some new pictures for our room, too. So look how cute they are, guys. I think Miss Bonnie looks exactly like herself, <laughs> like she did in the Vampire Diaries. If y'all think she does, um, tell me down below, leave some comments. Or if not, tell me that as well, you know, let me know. So we're going to go ahead and take a couple of these pictures. <gasps> Yay! That actually might be the thumbnail. So while we're here, we are going to go to... This community board. So it says community space default, community voting board, voting ava available from 8 o'clock a.m. to Monday, 6 o'clock. So it is actually the next day in my game, and we already voted on a neighborhood action program, um, well, action plan in the last episode, and I think we ended up picking. Um, renewable energy so we can get like solar panels and all that i think that would be great but right now we're going to maybe check the community space for different projects so we can't vote on these particular projects because we don't live in this specific um area which i'm kind of sad for i actually really like this area and i probably should have um, put her in one of these apartments but it is okay 
So we're going to check about the neighborhood action plans. And this neighborhood actually has a different overall action plan than we do. So we can't vote, but we can go ahead and talk to people. So we're going to go and introduce ourselves to Mr. Grayson and a couple of other people over here. Just get to know some of our fellow neighborhood neighbor tees. Is that a word? <laughs> Probably not. Um, but Grayson is supposed to be walking over here and he just stopped. Maybe he's like, I don't know who you are. I'm not sure if I want to say hey to you. So I did um, get some sims off of the gallery. I would shout out the creators, but guys, there are so many. But if there is a particular sim that you are liking so far, go ahead and tell me and I will see if I can link the people who created the sim in the description. So leave comments if you have anything <laughs> that you want to say. Um, but this is actually a sim I did get off the gallery. This is Mr. Grayson Mahan. I think I did change his last name though. Um, and I gave him a slight little makeover because I thought he needed one. I think this is another Max's Match hair that I got. Um, so I am in the middle of changing my mods folder again. So my sims are kind of like half Max's Match, half Alpha. And I think that's what they're going to be moving forward. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just going to go and talk to Mr. Grayson Mahan. Maybe ask him about... The neighborhood because he lives here as well we're gonna ask him about his career see what he does for a living oh does he have to go <laughs> oh he just didn't want to talk to us anymore okay well maybe he's busy doing stuff it looks like there's some more people talking over here so one thing that I have noticed is this lot is absolutely filthy <laughs> it's so bad um <laughs> We have to do our part to clean this up, see if we can help their eco footprint because, geez, there's trash everywhere. Um, but these are some more sims that I put in the neighborhood. Actually, I don't think so. They might have came with the pack because I don't know who these are. Um, but we're going to come and introduce ourselves to them as well. And apparently Aspen has um, acquired the video game skill. Don't know exactly how she has done that, but it must have been on her phone. So for some reason, oh, I'm about to say, <laughs> I thought she was still over there. And this is another sim I, well, she's gone, but <laughs> she was another sim I put in my game. Um, we are actually in a new save. So, uh, we're going to maybe talk to them a little bit more. I actually came out here to see if I could find a um, fabricator or a juice maker, and I don't see any here. So, what I'm thinking is going back to our um, community that we live in and going to our community space and seeing if I can find some places. Oh, and here she is. So, this is... Miss Amaya Muhammad, and she is a sim that I placed down. I wanted some diversity in my game, um, and I wanted new sims. I get tired of playing with the whole sim townies, and I will explain to y'all what save we are playing in in a second. She is gone again. People just, like, leave from here so quickly. Oh, she's going to vote on the community board. I wonder what she's voting for. <laughs> Oh, and look at Bonnie. She's cleaning up the trash, too. We love a um, eco-conscious sim. So, I don't, like, people are cleaning this up, but I don't see exactly, like, you can't click it. So, how are they throwing stuff away? <laughs> so confused. Um, Because, like, when you click stuff, it kind of just, oh, and it looks like Bonnie was like, nope. Don't touch it. I got it. <laughs> so I don't see any more trash piles that we can actually pick up ourselves. But um, we're just going to uh, pause right here. And I will see y'all when we get back to our neighborhood. Alrighty, guys. So we are back in our neighborhood. Um, we actually live in the rock quarry or something like that um and this 
um, building is completely bare. I have no idea what's going on with it. Like, there's nothing here. <laughs> so I think I'm actually going to go in and change this building um, to be a place where sims want to come because right now there's really nothing that it's offering us but the scenery is really really gorgeous i love the mountain ranges and stuff that are in this pack um like look just it's so so cute oh beautiful scenery beautiful 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 and our apartment building is actually right there hey apartment hey it's either one of these I, th I don't know. It's one or two. <laughs> but yeah, and there's a little gas station somewhere. I'm pretty sure I just saw a gas station. Hold on. My cursor is not... Is it supposed to be a gas station? It is supposed to be a gas station. So maybe we're getting cars soon, guys. I know that's a stretch, but maybe we are. <laughs> so I just wanted y'all to see a little bit of the landscape. Um, again, this is a gorgeous town. We're going to have so many parts to go over it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and place down another lot for this particular community space. And I will see y'all in a second. Alrighty, guys. So we are back. I didn't want to have the most upscale building because I felt like um, we needed a building that was still kind of down in the dumps because we are going to progressively um, make our ecological footprint for Rock's Quarry better than it is. So I didn't want something that was really um completely filled out and things so i did get something that's still kind of bare but it has the basic necessities that we need for this particular um things that we need to do for our maker traits um and this particular building is made by ports ports sims on the gallery uh, again it's ports ports sims p-o-r-t p-o-r-t s-i-m-s so without further ado we are going to look and see what this beautiful building has to offer us now there is another um uh community sorry guys there's another community board over here so we're gonna check on the latest gossip because we are back in our respective neighborhood and we're just gonna see what bonnie does <laughs> But yeah, we're going to see what's new for our neighborhood. And it looks like Sims are actually coming, which is great. I'm very, very excited yep. for that. So it says, um, I've learned the secret to getting influence. After I got an influence, oh, this is the same thing that we saw in the last part. So I'm not going to read that again. Um, okay, so there is built on community space project. So we're going to exactly see what this is. Oh, and voting for this ends again tonight at 6 o'clock. So we, we have like three more hours. So good for us. So there's two things to choose from. We can get a community garden, a maker space, or a market space. So the community garden goes, looking for a place to practice growing and cultivating. The community garden is a perfect place for neighbors to plant together. That's nice. Um, not really feeling it, but <laughs> it's cute. And then there's the maker space. So a community space for making all kinds. Oh, for making of all kinds. I was like, where's the rest of the sentence? <laughs> um, where neighbors can gather to craft, recycle goods, and dabble in activities like candle making, juice fizzing, fabricates, or candle making. Oh, or painting. And then there's the marketplace. And it goes, a community market where crafters and makers can sell their wares and shoppers can browse items. So I am personally... Um, I'm kind of between the maker space and the market space. So I think I am going to go with the market space. Can you vote twice? Oh, you can vote twice. That's so cool. So you can vote for more than one thing. So we're actually going to vote for both of these. I feel like either one of these would be good. So we're going to go ahead and cast our vote for that. And I love that little icon. And we do have a, another... Moodlet. So it says clean air from the green eco footprint. There's nothing quite like breathing in crisp, clean air. 
I am gonna have to delete Father Winter. I don't know why <laughs> he is here. It's so so weird. Um, and I don't mean to be that person, but um, we're gonna have to delete him. It's not realistic for him to be in this state. Okay, <laughs> so this particular space does have new objects. Um, there is this recyclable. Home recycle, home, say that four times fast, Recyc recyclable, <laughs> you know what, never mind, I'm not even going to try to say it, so we are going to recycle um, this pile of trash that we have, and see how this interaction looks, oh, I did not even notice this ladder was over here, wow, that is so cool. And Bonnie is over here talking to Jean Carroll. <laughs> I love these little ladders, guys. They are so cool. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So we are going to get to know a couple more people um, that are living in this neighborhood. But right now, I want to see what this recycle animation looks like. So... Ooh, so the trash just drops in, and you press a couple levers. Ooh. <laughs> it looks like she's having so much fun. <laughs> this is cute. Wow. I wasn't expecting, like, I can understand this machine being really big, but, like, the fabricator and some other stuff it was just a lot. So, what are those little points? What? Um... Okay, I need to do a little bit more research to feel, figure out exactly what those um, points are for that she got after recycling. Maybe it's for her ecological footprint. Not really sure, but I will figure that out. But she does have a new pop-up. So it says, you. oh, okay, it tells us what it is. <laughs> you received your first bits and pieces from using the recycler. Re Guys, why can't I say that? Recycler. How at Hoover over the recycler or the household funds to see how many you have. And um, I can't read the rest because my recorder is actually in my way. Um, but it's at the bottom. It says recycling thing, recycling things found in the dumpster is a good way to get more bits and pieces. So is there a dumpster here? There is a dumpster. Wasn't this the lady who was um, at the other lot that we were at, and we couldn't use it because <laughs> she was there. She can't be taking all her stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Um, but Aspen is actually kind of thirsty, so I'm gonna just go and let her do that. Also, um, I meant to take some household funds from her. She's, oh, that's cool. So, they, everything got a new <laughs> rehash, so it goes household funds and whatever those two things are. I think those are the quality points. Um, but I actually did mean to change her overall money aspiration. Um, well, her money household funds. She does not need seventeen, uh, seventeen thousand dollars. It's not realistic in this sense, um, especially for her backstory because she spent her loan money to get her apartment. So it just doesn't make sense at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her household funds to 150. So if she doesn't start making and crafting things pretty soon, she might be put out of her apartment or um, things might start being taken away by the repo man and we don't want that. So if she wants to make some money, she is going to have to start using her freelance um, career and start doing different things. So Bonnie is up here. <laughs> Before we get to Bonnie, guys, I thought she was going to make some coffee. She's using the bathroom. Is it just me or does this icon look like a, um, coffee maker? <laughs> wow. Um, don't pay me any attention. <laughs> Wow, Marion. Wow, wow, wow. So there is a little bit of kitchen things over here. So I am actually going to get her to um, maybe have a quick meal. She's going to have, oh, no ham, no ham, no ham, no. She's a vegetarian. Oh my gosh. I should know that because I'm a vegetarian. 
<laughs> so we are gonna get her to have some um, Adame. And then after she's done, I'm gonna get her to sit here or she can sit with her cousin if she wants to. And we are going to friendly introduce ourselves, or funny introduce ourselves to, he is sitting in the seat we were going to sit in. Um, Jean, Carol, and Conrad Leonard. So I'm not really feeling his outfit, so I'm going to change it really quickly. There we go. He looks better. Because, woo, don't know what was going on before. So, hi. Oh. Okay. Wow. So... Um, they're not having a good time introducing themselves to each other. Don't know really what that was about. And he, he's leaving. He didn't like her so much that he's leaving. Wow. That is unfortunate. Um, so we're going to discuss some interests before we start talking to him about the neighborhood. So it seems like he might be a sim that lives in our neighborhood. So that's really nice. We're going to ask him about his career. Um, and we're going to see if we can convince him to support this nap that we want to do. Oh, this is new. This is a lot. Okay, so I think we decided on... I think we decided last time either on the eco-friendly appliances. No, we didn't. We just decided on the makerspace. So we're going to see if we can convince him to do the makerspace. And it looks like Mr. Conrad is a writer for, a writer assistant for Waros Books. That's interesting. He looks like a writer sim to me, <laughs> if we're being honest. The little, um. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, wow, guys. I <laughs> I was so confused. So, it looks like basically um the makerspace did not win. So, what went what when? What actually won was the um what is this the marketplace where you can come and sell your like perish not perishables, but the things that you make, like your fabricators and stuff here. That is very, very interesting. Not exactly what I was looking for, but um, it gets the job done, I guess. This is a really, really nice space, though. Really, really nice. Wow. Okay. So we actually do need Miss Aspen to start um, using either the fabricator or the, um, the juicer. I know that's not what it's called, but we're going to call it the juicer. Um, we need her to do that. So we're going to have to travel to another lot to see if we can find some because right now she doesn't have anything at all to sell and her rent is due in another couple of days. So if she wants to make her rent, which I think is like $500, she needs to start doing stuff. So I want to see what um, community space, a couple of these are going to be, um, I feel like this isn't going to be the one that I want it to be, but we're just going to go and see exactly what this particular thing is. Actually, before we do that, so, I wanted to show you all the new save that file that we are save we are playing in, so we are actually playing in, uh, Jab Jabina's or Jabea's a save file. I will link all the information to the save file down below because it is not mine. But basically what it does is it changes the overall appearance of some of these neighborhoods. So we have all new townies, as you can see. Um, this is actually where um, Aspen's grandma lives. So Sheila lives here. But um, this is, we have all new people. So I placed a couple of people down um, and I redid Oasis Springs as well. So Oasis Springs looks kind of different. Um, and I gave a couple of families some makeovers and I placed some new people down. So we have all new sims that we get to explore. 
Um, and it also changes the names of like the base game towns as well. So instead of this being, I think it was Newcrest before, it's Newland Hills. And that is really, really interesting to me. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that we are going to be doing in this Let's Play. Although it is an eco lifestyle Let's Play, this is a Let's Play that I foresee being something on my channel that we continue to play with because I have spent a lot of time redoing some of this stuff and I really, really, really like this family. <laughs> I love her story and all of that. Um, but I'm not going to go over all the worlds that we redid. Right now, I actually wanted to go to this old car production shop because this is um, a new lot I placed down in Oasis Springs. And I believe they have the fabricator that we are looking for. So we are going to go there. Alrighty, guys. So we are at the community type of lot in Oasis Springs. It looks a lot different than the ones that we have in Evergreen Harbor, but that is okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take them off pause. And it actually looks like Aspen does have a new moodlet. So it says, not convincing. From failing to convince to support a neighborhood action plan. So this comes from Conrad that we were talking to and she's kind of upset with herself that she couldn't get the makerspace. So she has to come all the way to Oasis Springs to work on what she wants to work on. Um, and that is another recycler. I came here to see if we could find a fabricator. Um, I really enjoy this lot. It's really messy. <laughs> Um, and it reminds me of something that I think is really, really cute. Like, I like it very, very much. So, it, down below, basically, y'all tell me if y'all think that we she should be a fabric, she should work with Fabricator, the Fabricator machine, or if she should work with the Candle machine. So, I will leave it up to y'all. Today, we're actually going to start on both, but y'all let me know down below. Do you think she would be a better Fabricator, or do you think she would be a better Candle Maker? Let me know down below. So, right now, I think I am going to get her to make a... Fabricated rug. I want to see exactly how this is going to work. And it's, oh my gosh, it's not letting her fabricate anything for some reason. Is it because she doesn't have enough points or is it because of the way it's placed? I don't know. Um, I'm going to just edit this really quickly, guys. Okay, so I think the fabricator might need to be here. I'm going to see if I can put it like, well, that looks like a nice little area, so I don't want to put anything there. Okay, we are going to put it back right here, and maybe we just need one. We don't need two. Okay. All right, let's see if it works now. So... Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So she, we're going to see if she can fabricate this rug. Oh, it's the arch. Oh, my gosh. You can't get in because of this arch? It doesn't make sense. Okay. So it looks like the arch is causing them not to be able to get in. Um, so I'm going to see if I can just take that down and see if people start coming now. So it looks like the fabricator wasn't the problem, um, but we're going to try this one more time <laughs> and see if we can make a rug. What in the world? What is it? No. Okay, we're just going to come and see if she can go here. Okay, go here. Go here. <laughs> Guys! Go here. I don't understand why she can't use this. This is so, so weird. Okay. 
Oops, didn't mean to take that off. Yes, okay, it was the <laughs> it was the tape that was causing it not to work, guys. Oh, that took forever. I am so sorry. Okay, so we're gonna see if she can fabricate a rug. Oh, do we have a purchase to dye first? Okay, we're going to do an orange dye. And so that leaves us with Oh, no, we were about to get, ah. who are you, Marlo, no, no, <laughs> what, <laughs> okay, so people are coming to use the machines that we were going to use, so, there's a whole bunch of stuff we have to do before we are able to fabricate or make a candle, wow, um, I'm going to see if I can just place down another fabricator, huh, <laughs> and then we should be able to make what we want to make. I am not ending this part. It might be a little long, and I'm sorry, but we're not ending this part until a something with the fabric is made, point blank Period. Okay, so we're going to see if we can fabricate just something. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, finally, guys. So it looks like it's getting dark today. Um, it, the sun is starting to settle. But look how cute everything is. I love this little interaction. Uh, so this is very like um very tech savvy like ooh i don't know if i would be able to do this all this stuff everywhere like i wouldn't know what buttons to press guys it would be horrible 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 to say the least so we are going to continue to let her fabricate i am going to just speed it up a little bit and look so we have two new um, moodlets, but first we are going to read this. So it says, making materials from MakerTrait. There's a certain joy in making something you can hold in your hands. I definitely agree. So it says, maker lesson. Aspen is a maker. The way the they find joy in making things. And I cannot see the rest because of my recorder. Before the next part, I'm going to see if there's a way for me to actually move my recorder so I can still read the stuff that I need to read because that is very important in this LP. Um, but it also says um, the finished fabrication can be found in your Sims inventory. So we are going to look really quickly. So she did get some dye. And she got an eco upgrade part, and it's made by Aspen Bennett, a part used to advance eco related upgrades. So, I think this would be a really nice thing that we can sell at our local um, community space. And that is going to be the end of this part, guys. I know a lot has went on in this part, but I hope y'all enjoyed it. I, for one, enjoyed everything. <laughs> I know it was long, but I will see y'all in the third part. I love you guys. If you are new to my channel and you want to join our Angel Squad, all you have to do is like this video, leave a beautiful comment down below, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. And, and I will see y'all in my next part. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye, angels.